What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing the Generation 2 Box Art Legendary Ho-Oh in Ranked Regulation G. Now when it comes to Ho-Oh, this Pokemon is great all around. It's bulky, it can hit hard, and it can stay on the field for a long time due to its regenerator ability and its access to the move Recover, which we are rocking out with today. This Pokemon can get HP back at all times. This Ho-Oh right here is Rock and Clear Amulet's item, which I believe to be the best item for any physical attacking restricted Pokemon. Furthermore, it's got Fairy Terror type with the moveset of Protect, Recover, Brave Bird, and Sacred Fire. We got two heavy hitting stab moves, plus a way to recover HP. Can't really go wrong with Ho-Oh. This team also features Grimmsnarl, who is top tier when it comes to screen setting. And let's be honest, screen setting is back. It's just so good in the format right now. You cannot go wrong with Grimmsnarl setting up screens for eight plus turns. Our final four Pokemon on today's team feature Rillaboom, Ogre Pond, Glamora, and Golden Go. Rillaboom and Ogre Pond, we're not really going to talk about. They are all over the meta right now. But Glamora's over here rocking a Power Herb with Meteor Beam. We get that special attack boost, and then this thing hits like a truck pretty much every time after that. Our final Pokemon, like we already mentioned, is going to be that Golden Go. Golden Go, but good as gold as its ability, and the leftovers as an item. Great move set of Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Nasty Plot, and Protect. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this ranked Ho Oh team. We're hopping into our first match for today's video, and we are going up against an Alolan Ninetales and Terrapagos team. Now, Alolan Ninetales can set up Aurora Bell, but we're just going to pretty much counter that with Grimmsnarl here, trying to go into screens of our own. And honestly, I do like that. And to be honest, I kind of want to lead a Pokemon like Lamora here. I feel like that could be really good for us. Glamora into Grimmsnarl. I do like that. They could end up leading a Pokemon like Incineroar, which could be kind of a pain in the neck. But to be honest, I'm fine with this. I'm going to go in with these two. We are going to bring Ho-Oh in the back end. And last but not least, we need ways of getting rid of this trap. Now, trap goes Combine Boost. So it is going to get a special defense boost. So we want to go into a physical attacker rather than a special attack. So it's either Ogre Pond or Rolbu. And I'm kind of leaning towards Ogre Pond, obviously, because of... Uh, then Sinor and the Chief. So we're gonna bring in Wellspring Ogre Pond and we're gonna lock this one down. So looking to get after it. Rapagos looking scary, but I got physical attackers to kind of deal with that. Ogre Pond and Ho Oh specifically. So we'll see what they want to do here. I'm honestly curious. We do have Grimstone too, which Grimstone is great for dropping special attack as well with Spirit Break. It's a 100% guaranteed special attack drop. So I could just send it his way, drop a special attack, and make it do less damage. But they're gonna end up leading to Rapagos and. Okay, so Terrapagos and Incineroar, which isn't bad. I mean, I got Meteor Beam ready to go, and I'm ready to just drop this into the Incineroar slot. So he's going to intimidate me. No big deal. I think instead of setting up screens this turn, we just drop this thing's special attack with Spirit Break. I think that's in our best interest. And then we go for Meteor Beam if they don't want to fake me out. So let's see what they want to do. They're going to fake out the Grimstrong. That's totally fine. So they fake out Grimstrong. We get rid of uh, Incineroar. I'm cool with that. I don't mind that. I do not mind that. That's fine by me. So Power Herb's gonna trigger here. We do some big time damage, super effective onto Incineroar, and we say bye bye to it. But yeah, that's that's a fine pipe by me. I thought they were gonna fake out the Glamora, but this works out fine. The Earth Power now flies, gonna be four times super effective. They're just gonna take out Glamora, okay. So they don't set up a combine. We go trade for trade there. That's fine. So trade for trade. No big deal. Um, I could bring out Ho-Oh here if I want to. And I kind of do. I kind of don't. Who could they possibly bring out here? I would think more of a fire type Pokemon would come out here. Maybe like Chiyu. Could go Chiyu. Could go Ndidi. Um, hmm. I think we bring out Ho-Oh here. I think we bring out Ho-Oh here. Let's see who they end up bringing out. Let's see who they got cooking here. So shiny Ho-Oh coming out here with like the gold feathers. And they're going to bring out who? Should you maybe? Should have brought the Ogre Pond. Son of a biscuit. That's fine though. I can set up Light Screen here. I think that's a safe play. So I'm going to set up Light Screen. I'm going to put that down. And on top of that, we're not going to try size. We're just going to stay here. And I'm just going to drop a Breed into this fish. Into this fish. Wow, Ogre Pond could have been great. It could have been great. But I kind of like saving the Ogre Pond. Because I can always swap Ho-Oh now to get HP back with Regenerator as his ability, which is solid. Which is definitely solid. So Grimstrong's on the field, ready to pester these Pokemon. He's ready to just pester around. I mean, we're setting up a Light Chicken here, which is going to be phenomenal. Um, I would love to start dropping Spirit Break slash uh, Thunder Waves, because they could be really good. 
But it really depends what this... What this, uh... Terrapagos is doing, right? The Flamethrower is going to come across here. We have Light Spin out here. That's still doing a nice chunk of damage. Of course it gets to burn, too. Just what I needed. Nice little RNG not going my way. And the Brave Bird is going to connect over onto this Shiyu, which does great damage. We like that damage. So from here, he is going to start boosting with Combine, which is okay. I mean, that's fine by me. I mean, as long as I can just keep that special attack under control, we should be fine. So from here, I kind of want to go for a Spirit Break. At the same time, he could KO me. I could just go for a Thunder Wave instead. I could just go for a Thunder Wave instead. I do have Terra, but... I think we do paralyze this, this guy. I think we do paralyze. I'm going to paralyze him. I am just going to go for this, uh, this Brave Bird here. And he's going to Terrasalize. So no more Combines coming out from him. Not a single Combine. So this Paralyze could be good for us. We're gonna say bye bye to our Grimmsnarl here. And we might say bye bye to the Ho too. This one's gonna to be tough. This one's gonna to be tough, but the Thunder Wave could be clutch. The Thunder Wave could be clutch. Maybe it might paralyze him this turn. This could be big time. This could be big time. So we slow him down a little bit. We should say bye bye to the fish. And fish is actually gonna go after you. That's fine. We soaked that all day. Brave Bird's gonna finish you off, and we're really hoping that my Ho oh can just survive here, right? I would love for Ho-Oh to survive. Grimstar, I'm probably not surviving. Maybe you're paralyzed this turn. Please see paralyzed. Give us some RNG. We get some RNG. We get some RNG, which is great news. That's good news. That's really solid news. So Grimstar gets an extra turn here. Grimstar gets an extra turn. So we have this thing paralyzed down a little bit. Um, I could go for a Spirit Break to drop its special attack back. But Grimstar is going to get an extra turn here, and Sinisha is going to come into the battle. So Sinisha is into the battle now. Um... Do we, do we think we outspeed this guy here with Grimstrong? Because I would love to just drop this Spirit Break. I'm going to hope that we do. I'm going to go for Spirit Break here. You could go for Rage Powder, which could be a little tough news for us. But I'm going to go for Spirit Break. And I'm just going to go for Sacred Fire here. Right into you. So Sacred Fire flies. How much damage is doing? It is almost dumping on the same. Almost getting rid of it. And we do get a burn. So burn RNG helps us out a little bit. And Spirit Break flies. So we drop this thing special attack back to neutral. Back to what? Cool. And he's paralyzed again. We love this paralyze. We love this paralyze. And he pops a trickery. We love this paralyze. So that's a big time paralyze there. Um, what do we even do from here? Reflect's not going to do anything. Um, he's going to get some leftovers HP. Uh, I think we just go for another Spirit Break if we can. Might as well. I could swap my Ho-Oh if I want to. I could just get back HP. I might just go for recover this turn. I think I just recover this turn. And if I can get it off another spirit break, we should. Or I could just protect it. I had options. I definitely got a few options here. Um Now could be a turn just to take you out. You know, we're just gonna take we're just gonna take Sinister out here. The Terra Star Storm gonna fly here. He is neutral on special attack, which is good. I don't know how much damage he's going to do. We have Light Screen out and about, and it's not doing too much damage here. It's not doing too much damage. Shadow Ball is going to connect here, and he's going to deal a little bit of damage here. Nothing crazy, and Ho-Oh is going to be able to finish off. Here. That's good news. That's good news. So from here, I don't I don't believe Terra Star Storm is going to be able to KO Ho-Oh. So I think I can just start spamming recover, right? And get my Ho-Oh back up to HP. Now, I still do have Tarot type, but I don't think it's worth using, right? Especially with Terap Ghost on the field. So by playing this one slow, we should be fine. Because like I said, obviously I can just go into a... Uh, obviously I can just go into a... What's it called? A Terror type here and get a special defense boost. But if I get a special defense boost, I'm going to be weak or he's going to be super effective using Terror Star Storm. So I'm just going to go for an Ivy Cudgel. I am going to recover HP. We'll see what he wants to do. But those paralyzed turns were big for us. And he ends up just protecting. I mean, that's totally fine. I mean, you have Trick Room up. So we can just waste out Trick Room turns and I recover some HP. Beautiful. We love it. Give me back HP. Oh my lord. That's a lot of HP. <laughs> that's, I got over 100 HP back there. That's just so like, that's tough to look at. When you see like somebody recover, you're like, oh my lord. It's just tough to let, just look at. But from here, I'm just going to go for a Sacred Fire. I'm going to go for an Ivy Cudgel. And we can pretty much just stall this game, right? Unless you get a double crit here. And since I said that, you're probably going to get a double crit. 
But we should be fine here. We should be fine. You get one crit. I hate this game, man. <laughs> what is up with this game? Sacred Fire gonna fly through here. There's that. Ivy Cudge is gonna connect. That's so crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy you get a crit. <laughs> that is so crazy. Now, how many turns are left in Trick Room? There's one turn left in Trick Room. Let's just play this one smart. Let's just go for a spiky shield. And let's go for a recover. I'm not playing games here. I'm not just gonna spam attacking because they'll probably get the crits that they need. They really got a crit on my Ogre Bond, man. And they're paralyzed this turn. Okay, cool. So we get some RNG. They get some RNG. I feel like the RNG is kind of even. Actually, would have been closer if they maybe would have lost one turn paralyzed. But, I mean, they've been around here for a while on the field with paralyzes. But Trick Room finally ends. We can now go into Ivy Cudgel. We go back into Sacred Fire. Send it their way. And that's going to be game finally. Finally, they cancel the match. We're sitting 1-0. Hot start for us. Moving on to match number two, and we're going up against Samuseta. Now, I love that Samuseta is actually being used a lot in ranked regulation G. This Pokemon is just phenomenal. Considering in Sword and Shield, it was pretty much useless. Nobody would ever use it. Everybody would use Sassian. But now, in this format, Samuseta is here to play. But they also have Incineroar. They got Urshifu. They got Moongus, Pelipper. And last but not least, they got Raging Bolt. So, Screen's going to be a good friend of ours. We are definitely going to lead Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl was actually phenomenal in that last match. Getting off that light screen paralyzes, spirit breaks, everything that we needed to win that match. Now, I'm going to go Grimmsnarl here for a lead. Um, They could lead an Intimidate user such as Incineroar here in turn one. So, I kind of want to go back into Glamora. Lamora's just solid. It's just a great Pokemon. So I'm going to go into both of them. And I'm going to bring Ho oh in the back end. And last but not least, either Golden Go or Ogre Pond. I mean, Ogre Pond's nice, especially for that Water Absorb. But Pelipper does have Hurricane. It does rock Hurricane. But they do have Urshifu. And if that's Water Urshifu, yeah, I kind of want this. I kind of want this. I mean, we have other Pokemon to kind of deal with what they have. So we're going to go into the same squad here. Same squad coming at you guys. We are sitting 1-0. Oh. We'd love to grab ourselves a win here in match number 2 and guarantee ourselves a winning record. But yo, huge shout out to everybody who's been watching and leaving comments in uh, all my videos. Don't think I don't read them. I read every comment. Sometimes I don't respond because I'm busy, but I read every comment. Huge shout out to everybody who's been who's been supporting the channel as of recently. It really does go a long way. I'm going to try to respond to comments more and more. Make it more of a priority. But they end up going into Incineroar and Pelipper here. So... That's not too bad. I mean, now might be a good time just to spiky shield and let Grimmsnarl set up a reflect here. Or do I set up a light screen? I think light screen might be a bit better in our instance. I'm going to set up a light screen turn one, especially because Pelipper is most likely to be the one to attack. And Incineroar is most likely going to be the one to just fake out and not attack. So I can set up light screen here turn one. I think they do fake out Gamora, which is why I'm spiky shielding. And we'll see what they want to do. Go ahead. Fake out Glamora. I got Spiky Shoot. Up. Up. Out and about. Fake out into Grimmsnarl. Man, I could have just meter beamed. Could have just got some work done. He's going to go for Weather Ball. Okay. So, Weather Ball into this slot. It's not bad. It's not bad. I don't get off my light screen. Which I don't like. But I'm going to set up another one. So, I'm going to go light screen here. I could Terrasalize Grass. And I could honestly just meteor beam down this guy. I like it. I like it because I think you're going for Weather Ball here. I doubt you're going for Hurricane. So I'm going to use my Terror early on. So I want to get some value off with Glamora. It's like you've seen it in that last match. I got rid of Incineroar no problem with one shot. I'm going into Grass Terror here. I know he has Hurricane, but I can always Meteor Beam this turn, get rid of Incineroar, and then next turn just protect. So I'm going to Light Screen up. We love ourselves some screens. Glamora's going to pop Meteor Beam. Everybody put your hand up. Way bye bye to Incineroar. Get it on out of here. That's why I love Glamora though, with Meteor Beam and Power Herb. It just deletes Incineroars. It just deletes it. It says, yo, Incineroar, get on out my face. We'll see you later. Delete it. <laughs> Deleted him. I love it. I love Glamora. So we get rid of Incineroar here early on here. Weather Ball probably fine here again. And now you go for a Hurricane? Why? Why? And confusions. <laughs> oh, man. Good read on our opponents and drop that. Instead of going for a Weather Ball. Alright. I see how, I see how it is. And I'm going into Zamazetta. Gonna get that defense boost. Now, Zamazetta, how fast are you? You can't be that fast. I mean, I'll still set up a Refuck here. How fast are you, Gamora? No, I don't want to swap you in. You're already in battle. You're 118. Okay, do we paralyze this turn? 
I just want to paralyze this turn. I am going to paralyze you. So I'm going to go into paralyze. Um, I could just get up earth power. Yeah, that's going to be my best interest. We're going to paralyze this thing. And we're going to get off an earth power before Glamour dies out. Because we know Glamour is dying. So I'd rather get off a plus one earth power. Super effective shot into this bulky poke button. If the ducks don't hit me. But my uh, my energy stinks. Oh, and it does. It's, it, my, I landed. Beautiful. Cool. I like that. That's cool by me. Hurricane's gonna land here. And he probably just goes for a Behemoth Bash, which I don't have Reflect up. Reflect would be nice. But you could be going for Iron Defense as well. I feel like you have options here. I feel like you have options. Iron Defense, that's fine. So he goes for the Iron Defense bulkiness boost up. Um, It does kind of suck due to the sheer fact that I only have physical attackers out here on the field. But we'll deal with it. We will deal with it. Ivy Cudgel in the ring could do some nice damage here. It could do some nice damage. So, this comes out here. I can now go for my Reflect. Set that up. And how many turns are left in Light Screen? Six. Oh, my Lord. Six turns left in Light Screen. And I could just Spiky Shield this shot. Because I know you're going for Hurricane. We already know you're going for Hurricane. But I'm not going to Spiky Shield this shot. Okay. That's fine. He ends up protecting. I probably should have Spiky Shield this shot. We set the Reflect. He's going to Hurricane my Ogre. Which is... Looking a bit more scary now. Ivy Cuts are gonna fly. And hmm, what do I do here? I could just paralyze the Pelipper next turn. We knew the hurricane was flying. You should soak. You had that reflect up or not reflect late screen. And I have to just go for Did I paralyze him. Yeah, I'm gonna paralyze the Pelipper. And I have to I have to try to KO this thing right now. We don't get rid of Zamazetta like now. We're in trouble. We need this rain boost, so I'm going to go for Ivy Cudgel with the last turn of rain out on the field. We need it. So we're going to Thunder Wave you. Paralyze you up. And I don't know if this Ivy Cudgel can KO. He's plus two on the fence. Can we get a little bit of crit action? Just help us out. Go ahead, Ogre Pond. Do your thing. Let's go. Oh, we get the crit! We get the crit! Asking you shall receive. So, RNG on my end today. I'll take that all day. Hurricane's going to finish off Ogre Pond. And rain does end, and they cannot swap out Pelipper. So that's not bad. They still have Terra though. And I'm kind of curious to see who their final Pokemon is. So we got Ho-Oh ready to go. We have Grimstone chilling here. We have a Paralyze on the Pelipper. Um, we have Screens up already. And they're going to go on the Raging Bolt, who I'm just going to Spirit Break into, right? I'm just going to Spirit Break. That's 1000% my play. I'm just going to Spirit Break, drop your special attack. And I'm just going to protect this turn because I want to drop special attack as much as I possibly can. As much as I possibly can. Hopefully they're not going for Calm Mind. Calm Mind could be a little bit of an issue. Kind of neutralizing out my special defense drops. Or not special defense. Special attack drops. But that's my plan right here. It's just Spirit Break away into these Pokemon. With the Light Screen. It could be good. It could be good. So protect on the Ho-Oh. He ends up going for the Thunderbolt. We love it. And I think they just double down. I think they go Hydro Pumps here, right? Hydro Pump Thunderbolt. All day long. But Spirit Break actually does a nice chunk of damage. More importantly, we get that drop right there. The special attack is dropping. And he ends up doubling down. He does double down into the Ho-Oh. So that's a solid protect here. That's a solid protect. So I'm going to go for another Spirit Break here. Yeah, and I'm just going to go for a Brave Bird. I'm just going to do some damage into Pelipper here. The Brave Bird's going to fire. How much damage is it doing? Decent chunk. A decent chunk. But I do also take a recoil there. Thunderbolt is going to connect. How much damage is this doing? Not doing that much. It's not doing that much. We can definitely recover and get more up on it. And Spirit Break is going to help us out here a little bit more. So minus two on you. We get that special attack drop. And what are you going for, Pelipper? You want to go for another Hurricane, which is landing. So we're able to soak decently well here. I'm confused. Of course I'm confused. Of course I'm confused. I'm going to go for a Spirit Break into you again. So Spirit Break flying out here. We're just going to spam a Brave Bird. Um, it is tough. How many turns are left in Light Screen? Still two. Wow, yo, the turns are immaculate. We're going for a Brave Bird here. Try to finish off this Pelipper. So they get lucky with some ducks. Um, they're finally going to Rasslide this Rage Bolt, which I'm surprised it took them this long to do. They're going to go into a Fairy Turn. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, two more Spirit Breaks will KO, it seems like. And we're really hoping that we don't get ducked up here. Ducky could be a problem. The ducks could be a problem. 
We're confused. Can you, you just protect instead of taking damage? Okay, that works. Cool. So we don't take any uh, duck damage, confusion damage. And Thunderbolt is going to deal some damage onto us. So I might want to go for recover next turn. Let's see. Spirit Break chunking up some damage, which is great. Oh, one more might not KO. A special attack drop. Beautiful. So from here, I actually know we outspeed the Pelipper. I think we just go after Pelipper here and we recover HP. Because I know that this Raging Bull cannot KO us. And he goes for a Thunderclap and it's going to fail. So he switches Thunderclap and we go for recover here. I feel like we're taking duck damage here. No, we don't. Beautiful. And recover's just coming out here. And like I said, it kind of hurts the soul for the, for the opponent just to see that. They worked so hard to get my Ho-Oh that low of HP just for me to go all the way back up. So special attack drop, we're clutching up, and I'm surprised he hasn't used Weather Ball earlier, but Weather Ball is kind of weak. Actually, there's no rain, so it doesn't do anything. Light Screen wears off, we could set up another one, but to be honest, I think I'd rather just go Spirit Break here and go for a Sacred Fire and finish off this match. That's going to be match number two. They canceled the match. We're 2-0. Oh. Ho-Oh is dominating so far. It's time for our final match, and we're sitting 2-0 oh with a perfect record so far through two battles. We're going into our third and final match up against Groudon and Pheasantipity. I haven't seen Pheasantipity in a good bit, but it's still a very solid Pokemon. They also have Fluttermane, Cresselia, uh, Araquidid, and Iron Hand. So this is more of a heavy kind of Trick Room team right here. And guess what we're doing? We're bringing screens. Screens are just so good. As you guys seen today, Grimmsnarl is low-key MVP. He's just been so good. Him and Ho-Oh together have been dominating the battle, but I'm gonna go Grimmsnarl here. I'm gonna be able to set up screens. I'm gonna be able to get after it. Um, I could fake out your turn one if I want to, but I think sending up Glamora is just better. It's just better. I'm gonna go Ho-Oh, and then last but not least, either Golden Go or Robum, right? Either Golden Go or Robum. And I'm kind of leaning towards Robum because having first turn priority is gonna be great. It definitely is gonna be good, especially when going up against a Trick Room team. If we have somebody at low HP and we just need to pick up a KO within the Trick Room, Grass Sky could definitely come and clutch, help us out here. But we're leading the same lead that we did in the past two battles. So Glamora Grimstone all day today with Ho-Oh in the back end. And it's working perfectly fine. It's actually working wonders right now, which I love. I love it. The screens are just great. Thunder waves are awesome. The Meteor Beam to get things started is just perfect. But they're going to end up going into Iron Hands and Arachnid. Now, do we spiky shoot again? Everybody faked out Grimmsnarl every single time. Everybody faked out Grimmsnarl. But I'm just going to go for a Reflect. And honestly, let's just attack. Let's just attack. Let's just go into a Meteor Beam into the slot. Let's just go into Meteor Beam. But watch, our third, our third opponent, when we don't protect the Glamora, is just going to dump on Glamora. Or fake him out. Yeah, see? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? At least we do get off those nice little toxic debris. That's why people don't want to fake it out, but it makes sense. It makes sense. Now they fake out Mike Lamora. He's going to go for a liquidation probably, right? Just take out Lamora. I hate this game, man. I don't like this game one bit. Why do I play this? But I survive. And you get off some more spikes. <laughs> Suckers. Suckers. We'll go for a spirit break here. Um, as much as I want to paralyze him. I uh, just get off some damage. So I'm going to Spirit Break, and I'm just going to go Meteor Beam right into this Arachnid slot. It did not pop Trick Room, which is weird. But we have two sets of Toxic Spikes, which is absolutely amazing. So we're just going to poison whatever Pokemon they want to swap into, which we love. We love the, the nice little poisons, especially with Screens and Regenerator Ho-Oh with Recover. We could stall out some turns here. We could definitely stall out some turns. We could definitely waste out some turns. But why is this lady's hair going through her glasses? You guys see that? Her hair is just going through her glasses. Like, come on, Nintendo or Game Freak. Fix your game, man. Fix your game. But out comes Meteor Beam. We're all going to put up our hands and wave bye-bye to a rack. This thing is gone. Just going to get rid of it, no problem. And the Reflect really helping us out there. Helping Glamora survive a shot. But out comes that. See you later, rack Get on out my, my face. I don't feel like dealing with you. So Iron Hands, chances are it takes out my Glamora. I'm actually hoping it hits Glamora because that'll set up the third third set of Toxic Spikes. Spirit Break does nice damage. Special Attack Drop, which does nothing. He's going to end up Wild Charge, leaving Glamora on the field and getting a crit and taking some mean recoil. Leaving Glamora on the field. That's... That's, uh... That's, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's odd. Leaving this Pokemon, who's now plus one on the field. Now they go on the Pheasant Deputy. Um... Actually, you take away the spikes, don't you? You little booger. <laughs> you little booger. All my work for nothing. But from here, honestly, um, 
I think we just Thunder Wave this Pokemon because I know it's fast. And then we just go into an Earth Power because, surprise, surprise, this Pokemon is not Flying type. It's Poison and it's Fairy, which is really odd. Which is really odd. So we're going to slow it down with the Thunder Wave because I know it's decently fast. And then Glamora can just dump on it in one shot. How about that? How about that? Earth Power says bye bye to Fezzidipity. Get. Stay on the field a little longer. I was going to say get on out of here. But it survived. So we both switch pivots. Kind of hurts the soul. No spikes on the field. And Fezzidipity low HP. Low HP. He, go he brings back Iron Hands for uh, fake out usage later. And from here, we could bring out just Ho-Oh. Depending on what Fezzidipity wants to do. But they bring out their final Pokemon, which is Groudon. So they have like a Trick Roomish team, but they just don't use Trick Room, which is kind of weird. And this thing's paralyzed. Oh, we love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. But yeah, I'm just going to go into Ho-Oh here. I'm going to save my Roll Boom for the back end. Um, I have Reflect Up already, which is awesome. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I should do here. I mean, I like our typing with Ho-Oh. We got that flying typing. We're just going to Spirit Break. Look to KO. I could Thunder Wave, but you know, I'm just Spirit Break. Hopefully that, that's enough to KO. And we're just going to rip a Secret Fire into the Groudon slot. Maybe look for a burn. If we get a burn here, it's game. It's wrapped. So we're going to hope that this big time giant bird can just pick up a KO here. Or not KO, pick up a burn. But we'll see Terra Pop out here from most likely Groudon. Yep. And what type you got going? Going straight fire. Okay, that's a solid type. That's a solid type. Of course you got that type. Wish I had my Ogre Pond. Wish I had my Ogre Pond. Protect's going to come out here from Pheasantipity. So Protect flies through here. Um, take a fire, going to connect. How much damage is doing? Negative five. Nothing crazy. And Thunder Punch. Of course you got Thunder Punch. Of course you're rocking Thunder Punch. Spirit Break going to come out here and we block that. Or they block that. So from here, I could go for Brave Bird. I know we outspeed, which is good. I know we outspeed, but I'm just going to stick with Spirit Break. I'm going to go for Brave Bird here. And I think next turn we'll potentially just recover if we can. Because again, we outspeed, which is awesome. It's great that we outspeed. It's wonderful that we outspeed. So honestly, this Groudon's kind of scaring me, man. We can lose this match just as much as we can win it. It's pretty even right now. Because they still have a fake out using the back end. We have a fake out, actually a faster fake out using the back end. But Grass Guide really not going to do any damage to the Groudon anymore. Now that it tarred fire. But Brave Bird's gonna connect. Bop. Decent damage. Not bad. We will take a little bit of recoil. Can this Spirit Break KO? That's my real question. But he ends up going for a Heavy Slam. So he keeps Fez and Dippity on the field. Can he be paralyzed another turn? That would work wonders. We would like that a lot. He's gonna go for a Play Rock. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. But now I can go straight into you. Honestly, I could read a Protect. I could read a Protect all day. I can read a Protect. I'm thinking of just faking out and recovering. Definitely in my best interest, right? Place one smart, slow. Fake out Groudon. Yeah, let's fake out Groudon. Let's get some HP back on. Onto my ho-ho. Recovers are so good. I'm getting over 100 HP when I use this move. It's just working wonders. I was going to read a Protect on Groudon too. Luckily, I didn't. So Recover comes out here, we get back a ton of HP. Like I said, our opponent's probably like, come on, man. I got this thing all the way down. And that just happens. He goes for Gunk Shot, which we dodge. That's massive. That's, that's actually huge. That's actually huge that we dodge that. I gotta see how many turns are left in Reflect. We got two turns left in Reflect. Two turns. I get high horsepower. And I'm actually just going to double down the Groudon. I mean, I'm scared of that Gunk Shot. So you know what? I'm just going to high horsepower the Fezzidipity first. And just rip another Brave Bird into Groudon. And Fezzidipity is going to protect. That's fine. Unless you're going for a fire move. Maybe I should have went into Groudon. That's a good protect right there. Brave Bird flies. Leaves him on... On 1 HP? On 1 HP? Oh, man. Little 1 HP bandit. Luckily, he goes after Ho... Oh, that's actually good news for us. That's good news. And Harsh Sunlight does fade out of here. The Harsh Sunlight is gone. Um, I'm going to Brave Bird to finish off Groudon. High Horsepower to finish off you. And this could turn into a 2v1. So we'll just keep spamming our moves. Um, we already used our Terror type, I believe. He ends up protecting Groudon. That's fine because they want to get off an extra turn here. Groudon, big out. But I'm thinking of just doubling down. I don't know. Oh no, let's see. We need his High Horsepower landing first and foremost. Which it does, we get rid of Fezzidipity. So they have Iron Hands in the back end. 
They have Iron Hands ready to go, ready to fake out. Um, I'm actually curious to see what they do, because our Reflect is gone now, and it's been helping us out tremendously. Um, we could... Do I protect on Rillaboom? That's the real question. I could just double protect. I don't. Um, honestly, let's just double down the Groudon. Let's just make sure this Groudon dies out here, because I feel like whatever Pokemon could just 1v1 the Iron Hands. Feeling that, right? I feel that. So he's going to fake out the Ho-Oh. I don't know if Rillaboom outspeeds. Let's see. I don't think it does. And it does, actually. So he's just going to KO. So that's beautiful. That's easy plays for us. That's going to be GG's. That's going to be GG's. So they rock out with a Trick Room Squad in match number three. But they don't bring a Trick Room Setter and they don't set Trick Room. Kind of odd. They still make this a close match. Let's be honest. This was a close match. But um, I've just been killing it today. I've just been killing it today. And honestly, what does more damage? High Horsepower or Wood Hammer? Wood Hammer Stab. It gets that 180. This goes up to... This goes up to like 190. But this has Grassy Terrain Boost. Oh, and I still do have Terra. I still do have Terra. I could just go in the Fairy, but... We're just gonna Wood Hammer and Sacred Fire here. Wood Hammer actually does more damage. Sacred Fire is gonna fly through here, and that almost KOs. Wood Hammer's gonna be able to finish this one off. And we get a burn, too. Not, not bad at all today. 3-0 perfect record with Ho-Oh? I wasn't really expecting that, but this team was absolutely phenomenal. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0 perfect record. Every single match dominating with Ho-Oh and Grimmsnarl. I love both of them so, so much, especially Ho-Oh behind screens. This thing was just so bulky, and it never died in today's video. Recover, being a gem too, every time we got low on HP, we just hit that recover button, go up plus 100 HP, which is absolutely absurd. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.